I took those pictures of me on the 31st of December 2019 as part of the challenge I'm in, which is rolling 48. So basically, it's for all the months of January, I eat only one meal every two days, which is as known as rolling 48. I already talked about the why and the how in that video here. So, Today is the 17th of January and I'm two hours and a half um, before my seventh meal of the year, my seventh refeed. I'm kind of excited already. <laughs> so I wanted to, before I forget anything, I wanted to make already a small log about what happens and uh, the procedures I mean and whatnot. So first of all, um, yeah, so how do I do it? First, um, I exercise. Yes, I go to the gym. My goal is to go to the gym five times a week. Uh, in the first week, I only have been once. The second week, I've been three times to the gym. To the gym, and uh, today was my fifth time in a row that week. What do I do in the gym? I do basically uh, full body barbell strength training. Uh, which means like I use medium weight uh, compared to my strength and I hit all the body at least once a day for one set. So basically it's I do squats, uh, overhead press, deadlift, bench press, barbell rowing, uh, chin-ups, dips and hold. Like I hold on the, on the bar for 30 seconds or so. So you need to check this video here, which explains really well. It's from a Joe Rogan podcast and uh, the guest uh, explained really well that when you do strength training, you shouldn't focus on exhaustion. You should focus on contraction and you shouldn't even go that far to say that this is something that really strike me. Say you shouldn't get you shouldn't be sore after a workout. That was like, what? <laughs> yeah, it's like exercise can actually generate energy if you do it properly. And so I'm trying this kind of exercise and it feels great. And I can see already the change in my body, like my legs, my, yeah, I like it very much. So wh what do I do as well? My refeeds are entirely vegan. Yep, I am vegan. So as you can see here in the pictures, so that's my refeed number one and two. Um, I love to cook. Yes, I love to cook so much. And I like to make my plates full and nice and mm. so yeah, I'm vegan and um, and I enjoy my food so much. Uh, what do I drink? Obviously, I drink the famous uh, snack juice, which is um, the, from the snack diet. Uh, so snack juice is salted water uh, to just make sure you have all the electrolytes required for your cells to work properly. And I drink snack juice and in the morning sometimes, most of the time, I drink black coffee. No sugar, no nothing, black coffee, uh, around two cups. And I don't really need it, actually. And yeah, I, I haven't drink it every day and I could do without, so that's fine. So yeah, that's my, the few details of my protocols. So now, what are the consequences so far why I'm in the middle of this? Well, uh, to be fair, the first, the first three fasts were the hardest. Like I started with the three days fast, a 72 hours fast. That was, that was very challenging. Um, and the, the, the two 48s uh, fast just after, they were challenging as well. Like, like six hours before my refit or so, I started to feel already hungry and tired, exhausted, not to be able to focus, completely distracted. And yeah, it's normal. It's just the body is get used to it. And uh, to be fair, I'm today will be my seventh refeed. And um, still, I can feel my body is not completely adapted. That's OK. We need to take take the time and to go into it. And even like yesterday and most of the time later during the day, especially after uh, business work, after the gym, um, meditations, the routine and such, I'm kind of exhausted later during the day and I'm just sloping here and I want to do stuff, I want to create stuff, I want to do stuff, but my brain is so lazy, it's okay, it gets better and 
definitely my comfort zone as well has improved. Now I get very hungry, somehow in between two and one hour before we feed, which is great. So I, I'll, get, I'll get there. Um, so there is something which is paradoxical is that uh, even though d later during the day I feel kind of exhausted, it's really hard to fall asleep. It's really hard. So I'm taking melatonin to help. And even then, um, I sleep less and less. Like this morning, for example, was the first time since a very long time I woke up at before half past eight in the morning. <laughs> okay, you may laugh, but I work at home. So it means that I don't need to wake at a certain hour. Um, I just need to do my work anytime during the day. And I tend to sleep very late usually. And damn, I woke up like this and I was like so full of energy. And this is something that everybody on the Facebook group uh, hosted by Shannon Miller on Facebook, uh, a lot of people uh, acknowledge this fact. They seem to sleep less and less. And I, that makes sense somehow, because once you fast past 24 hours, your body enter recycling, like his recycle misfolded proteins and stuff. So basically it, it enters into repair mode, which is why we sleep. One of the many reasons why we sleep it's for the body to, to flush the, the, the toxins and stuff and to repair itself. So if you fast, well, sleep, is uh, sleep is less it just makes it makes a lot of sense um, another thing as well that i've noticed is that i tend to feel colder in general so this winter is not that cold actually but yeah later during the day when i'm feel a little bit uh, tired and whatnot yeah i feel colder and so what i do with that is that i practice the wim hof method like amateurish okay but in the morning i ventilate my apartment I take out my shirt, I go outside maybe, and I do the breathing work, and I try to get my body used to the cold. Uh, but it doesn't work up until the later, uh, later during the day. So yeah, that's it for the 7th of January, and um, I'm excited about my next refit. Yeah. <laughs>